Good morning, students. Today we are going to talk about the read through and immersion effect. What is the read through effect? Emerson et al. in 1957 Emerson scientist and its co-workers studied effect on different wavelength of visible spectrum on photosynthesis and observed that there is a sharp decline in rate of photosynthesis when supplied light to the plants is greater than 680 nanometer it means rate of photosynthesis is declining when we supply the light of wavelength greater than 680 nanometer it is called ray drop effect now second effect e immersion effect in another experiment observed that by emerson scientist when supplied light of wavelength a mixed type it means shorter wavelength along with longer wavelength then rate of photosynthesis ओके जब प्लांट्स को 680 नैनोमीटर से कम और 680 नॉट से ज्यादा दोनों टाइप की लाइट एक साथ दी जाए तो फोटोसिंथेसिस की रेट इनहेंस हो जाती है इंक्रीज हो जाती है 680 नैनोमीटर से बिलो लाइट अब वो 680 नैनोमीटर देन 
day two photosynthesis is enhanced. Okay, it is also known as immersion enhancement effect. only in photosystem first because it required more than 680 nanometer light immersion effect work both in PS first and PS second because PS first and PS second work together in non-cyclic photophosphorylation and PS first work only in cyclic photophosphorylation. So, 680 nanometer से कम और 680 nanometer से ज्यादा light देने पर rate of photosynthesis increase हो जाती है और 680 nanometer से ज्यादा single light देने पर rate of photosynthesis decline हो जाती है Okay? Now, next topic is that light reaction it is also known as hill reaction or photochemical reaction what is the light reaction when light energy convert into chemical energy light energy convert into chemical energy in the form of ATP NADPH2 or NADPH plus H plus and evolution of oxygen ATP NADPH2 and evolution of oxygen these are production of light reaction so this phase completed in following steps first stage absorption of light energy and excitement of chlorophyll molecule second stage photolysis of water third for 
formation of NADPH2 and fourth step is photophosphorylation. It means light reaction completed in third step. First step absorption of light energy and excitement of chlorophyll molecule. Second, photolysis of water. Third, formation of NADPH2 and fourth, photophosphorylation. Now, firstly, we are going to discuss about the first step. Chlorophyll molecule absorb the photon energy from electromagnetic rays of light and become excited. Then, energized electrons are emitted out from excited chlorophyll and these emitted electrons are accepted by electron acceptor. It means Chlorophyll molecule A which is surrounded by light harvesting power complex of antenna molecules. Okay? And it is a normal state of chlorophyll A. When sunlight is given to antenna molecules which are known as accessory molecules like carotenoids xanthophylls Outer region is known as antenna molecules and inner region is known as core molecules. It means combinedly it is known as LHC, light harvesting complex. And this complex includes chlorophyll B, carotenoids, xanthophylls, phycobilins, it means accessory pigments which absorb the photon energy from sunlight and transfer it to chlorophyll A. Then chlorophyll A become excited. and release the electrons and these electrons are accepted by 
primary electron acceptor in photosystem first and sorry in cyclic and non cyclic process so chlorophyll a is the reaction center of ps first and ps second and it may be photosystem 700 or photosystem 600 ab photosystem 700 participate only in cyclic process and photosystem 680 participate in non cyclic okay sorry p680 participate in both sorry sorry photosystem 700 participate in cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation and photosystem second participate only in non cyclic photophosphorylation okay so in the first step normal state of chlorophyll molecule absorb the photon energy from accessory pigments and become excited then energized electrons are emitted out from chlorophyll then chlorophyll molecule become oxidized and emitted electrons are accepted by primary electron acceptor okay Now, second step in light reaction is photolysis of water and evolution of oxygen. Energy which is absorbed by chlorophyll molecules is used in the breakdown of water molecules. Then, evolution of oxygen. In this, we take the two water molecules and the pertains of magnesium ions and chloride ions. Then, water molecules is split in its component form 2H plus plus 2 electrons plus oxygen sorry 4H plus 4 electron plus oxygen These four H plus ions used in reduction of NADP into NADPS2 and oxygen in EVO. This reaction is known as photolysis of water from light energy. Now, third step is formation of NADPS2 H plus which are released in the photolysis reaction used in the 
reduction of NADPH2 to NADP plus 4H plus plus 2 electrons for electrons convert into 2NADP S2 plus 2H plus. So it is the reduced form of NADP. Okay. Now fourth step. Now fourth step is photo phosphorylation. What is the photo phosphorylation? When formation of ATP molecules from ATP plus inorganic phosphate by light energy. And it is called photophosphorylation and it is discovered by Arnon scientist and Eto in 1954 discovery of photophosphorylation by Arnon Eto in 1954 and it is the formation of ATP molecules from ATP plus inorganic phosphate by using of light energy. So, photophosphorylation is of two types. First, Cyclic photophosphorylation and second non cyclic photophosphorylation. Okay. Energized electrons which are emitted out from ex excited chlorophyll molecules pass through a switch of electrons and received by electron acceptors. Then ATP is homer. So reaction is ADP plus inorganic phosphate in the presence of enzymes convert into ATP because ATP and ADPS2 and evolution of oxygen are the production of light reaction in next class cyclic photophosphorylation के बारे में पढ़ें, ओके, थैंक यू